hopped up on that bus. It's chill, hot, and Raji. Glad you came to whip with us. Got no GPS or telling what we gon' discuss. Shout out Thompson Farms, they got the melons and the nuts. We like a trampoline, yeah, we jumping on this beat. Good morning and welcome to another episode of the Big Ugly Sports Podcast brought to you by Premier Properties of Dublin. We are your first source for mediocre sports coverage. Got a good show for you today. My name's Chill. We got Green Eggs and Cam back there on the, the camera. Let's meet the other guys on the show. UGA class of 07, ladies and gentlemen, he is a diehard dog. Oblivious to how people really feel about him. Punctuality, getting better. Bottom row looks like you bit a brick. He is the pride of Buddy Johnson Road, ladies and gentlemen. Adam Height, High Tower. What's up, Chili? Oh, crystal clear, boy. Hey, Raj. Cam. Sitting Cam. across from him, ladies and gentlemen. Seminole for life. They're on the way up. Got gullet that can store food for days. Diaper still needs changing on the reg. He's got napkins for hands. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together. He's big. He's sloppy. He's big. Raji. Good morning, Big Ugly Sports Group. We good? Very yeah, that was pretty, pretty official. What's up, guys? Hey, buds. Man, hey, before we get going any further, just shout out to Blackshear Beverage and our other sponsors, Premier Properties and Brian's, for the donation of money that have, as you can see on YouTube right now, we've got new sound equipment. Hopefully it sounds even better, but if anything, it looks cool. we look official. We went from being below average to slightly, slightly above average. Uh-uh. We're I above, say we're, we're above still, it. I would still say slightly. We just got closer to the average okay. line. That's fair. Can you agree with that? Yeah. So if, you, if you're just listening, just at least give YouTube a look this week, just so you can just see a big step. It was a big step for the guys. Yeah, it's exciting morning. on YouTube to see the new equipment. Yeah. So, still still a work in progress. Always room for improvement. Yeah. It's a movement. It is a movement. So, all right. So, looking over the weekend, and really, I've got an observation, and it, it's, it's, it's a dig at me, but it echoes kind of what you guys regularly say to me. But, so, I got I got my, my temp fade, you know, this past week, my, my haircut that I needed. And... Thank you. For the first time in... I'm telling you, you look like that referee from... from uh, the, I, mean the, uh, I don't look that bad. Yeah. That got it. But for the first time in a long time, it's it's really hit home that I'm on the short roads with the, the hair that I have on top as it's become more and more thin right there at the front. Uh, shout out to my cousin, Wade, who also has, has advanced a little further than me in that, and his brother, Wesley, who has lost all his a long time ago. So it, it's a heel thing, I guess, but it's... You know, it, it's about to head out. And I'll be honest, I've had my head shaved. It's not a good look for me. But that could be in the future at some point. So, so many times. But they have medical help for that at this point. So. We actually show in our health class, we show kind of like fake uh, ads about like health claims and stuff. And there's that hairspray paint. It could be Do me. you go there or do you go hair plugs? <clears throat> I'd probably just go spray paint, okay. honestly. Okay. Yeah, five thousand for the hair plugs. I'm out on that. So, just tough day. Tough seven, day. Seven K for a dog's Achilles or ACL, but not five. Oh, so now we're talking my personal finance. Wow, I didn't think we'd go there high. That's a tough look. I, I really early I just morning. made that number up. I didn't. I didn't that's know. Not, that's not right. But okay, that's what I thought. I thought it was fake, but keep going. Yes. So yeah, tough day in the hair hair world for me. But hey, it is what it is. Roger, what yeah. you got? Uh, I guess it's really not a weekend observation. It's more of a Monday observation. But the uh, ACC schedule dropped last night. Noles How do you feel about Noles 12-0. 12-0. Not, I mean, not really. I think, they, I think they go 11-1. But when big, you say it dropped, did there people you didn't know they were playing? Well, as listening? far as, like, when they were playing. Okay. Uh, you know, obviously they got LSU. That's why you sent that text. They got LSU week one. Uh, normally they play Clemson late. Uh, they play Clemson – uh, late September, which is which is new. So I, mean, I think, and they play Miami late. And they're at Clemson. They're at Clemson. Hey, Nick Easton. Which I think that's the one that I think that's one they dropped. We coming your way, big friend of the show, Nick Easton. September twenty third. Yep, we'll be there. We need to be there. Absolutely, we're in broadcasting mm -hmm. from the 
bleachers. And, and there's a good chance. Mm-hmm. There's a good chance. We're both, gonna set a table right there in the bleachers. That both are going to be undefeated at the time because it's early in the season. What if we get up there with with Herb Street? Are we getting Herb Street, Herb Street on the show? Or we set our booth literally right beside right theirs? Right beside theirs. Yeah, we're. I think that we get more love than Game Day does. And then we get I Pat can see McAfee the crowd around. gathering around us. We could bring Edwards instead of McAfee. Where are we at on that? <laughs> and are, Cam's the bear. Cam's, Cam's the bear. The bear. <laughs> yes. Could not be better. I like it. I we like are the people's show, really. And then, then we bring my boy on an official visit. Shout out to Joe Bucks. John. Transfer portal. <laughs> we are. I thought he was going to Colorado. I saw that. He was, but when Dabo came calling, I think it was a little bit different. So, hi, street committee. Street committee's talking that you got bullied a little bit last night at your wrestling event. That's wrestling. what I heard as well. Yeah, that was a that was almost Facebook. an incident. Thankfully, police were not involved. There was a youth wrestling tournament last night. I was coaching elementary wrestling for Raider Nation, and uh, uh, there was a heated, heated nine-year-old match, and the, the West Lawrence kid uh, w- was winning the match. Had the kid from Jeff Davis on his back. And the kids were going bananas, like slapping the mat. And my kid, our kid, thought that the referee had pinned, called a pin. Wow, that is tough. So he just gets up and lets the kid from Jeff Davis get up. And then we're screaming, no, you know, you're still wrestling. He, so anyway, he takes him back down again, ends up winning the match. And, you know, match over. I'm, I get on the phone. I'm calling my wife to make sure they made it home because I was still there and they left or whatever. But this guy, while I'm on the phone, this guy comes up beside me, just standing there like, Patting his foot on the ground. He had and, to give his thought? Yeah. <laughs> Hands on his hips and whatnot. Just that bobblehead going. Yeah, no, well, he didn't go that far with it. But uh, anyway, I get off the phone and I kind of just look over and he, he reaches out to shake my hand. And I'm I'm thinking, he's going to say, man, your, your kid wrestled tough or something, you know, your boys wrestled good. So, or this parent's from, he's from West Orange or from Jeff Davis? No, he's from Jeff Davis. I didn't know him, but I just thought maybe. Because I, I hadn't argued with anybody, so I didn't. I know I wasn't going to get fussed. Which is that. something in itself. That is good. Good for you. Didn't the season end last night? Yeah, that was. Man, dude was so close yeah, to making it was. the season. <laughs> First time in his career that he made it through a whole season and didn't get a confrontation with anybody. Anyway, this dude he shakes my hand, and while he's shaking my hand, which I've used this before on people too, you trick them with a handshake, and then you throw them a curveball and tell them how they're they're trash. But that's the situation. What he did was, y'all didn't win that match. I said, "What you talking about?" Sure we did. No, you y'all was over here cheap. I said, "What do you What do you mean cheap? All these boys slapping that mat." I was like, "I don't, I don't, I don't know." She, yeah, during that, my boy would have won that match. Meanwhile, his boy was laying on his back about to get pinned whenever they slapped the mat. So, and anyway, then got lit up and lost again. Yeah, got lit up and got then got taken right back. So out. then, what did you say to her? I said, "Well, if you say so." Meet me in the parking lot. No, I just if you say so, and that was it. Cause I knew he so was who won on. that? Did he win that or did you win that? Well, I did. Okay. Um, I was, that was a great chance for you to clap idea. back at somebody. Else. Yeah, but, I mean, he was a simpleton. So and I wasn't wasting my time with him. <laughs> and this is kids, right? Like, you don't even keep scores, so though, do you? Or do oh, yeah, you? this this was a year-end tournament, so. Okay. That was placement. Like, Gotcha. That was just real deal. Holy field. Well, for him, it was a Super Bowl. His kid wasn't very good, so, I mean, this may be the pinnacle. So. Get your sleeve, get your pool. I need it. <laughs> All right, so we need to we can't go any further without briefly talking about Stetson Bennett's arrest in Dallas. Um Stead. You know, yeah. What Roger, I know you got some, probably some thoughts on that. What are your He was waiting for Stead to mess up so he could just bring him down. You're trying to bring I didn't him have down. to bring him down. He did it to himself. I mean, I, I feel like I'm in agreement with you guys as far as like that could have happened to any of us. I mean, honestly, we're now, probably when we're more 22, not more, you know, 26, but. Mm-hmm. We could. He's still in college. I mean, dude's getting a specialist right now. I mean, he's been in there for <laughs> 15 years, but. Uh, I mean, he, he made a mistake, whatever, but I just think it's it's a bad look from the standpoint of everything that he's, you know, done since the parade. You know, the parade, everybody was kind of unhappy with him. Him skipping the senior bowl, I think, was, was a terrible look. Uh, and then, then this happens. So, What's his motivation behind not going? You think you don't want to get exposed? I think it. I think it's a combination. Uh, well, I, I don't want to say it's a combination. I think it's one or the other of either he thinks he's too good to go to it, or uh, he's going. He will get exposed. And I can't remember. There was a guy, Mike. I think maybe Mike Renner or somebody who 
works for like the NFL draft and does stuff. He even he was kind of going off on that. Like if you're stat, like that's an opportunity to go out there and shine. Uh, I mean, nobody's too good to play in the Senior Bowl. Right. Do you think he thought maybe this hurts me more than it helps me? Like I, I mean, I've won a national championship. You know, I've had I've had some good games. I go but out that, here but that would win. go back to him basically not but being exposed. All right. If he does not get arrested, is this a big deal that he's not playing the Senior Bowl? Or is I it think just it was magnified? still. No, I remember. No, I Roger think you brought it up before this. Yeah, I think it was still a kind of a like. Why are you not playing in that? Well, and there's a consensus among the and you're the draft def- gurus that he won't be drafted. And Vegas, by the way, has set the odds at fifth round, number one fifty five overall. And I would like to hear the over under. That's the over under. So you, I mean, there's what seven rounds? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think there's like two hundred sixty picks. So you, I think now, I think now he doesn't get drafted at all. You think this change? Do you think he would work? I think there was already some question mark. I mean, think about every time he's been in a public setting. I mean, dude, no. dude, he might, he might, he might have, you know, an issue, which I hope he gets, he gets solved and he gets, you know, gets fixed. But he's already had some issues being in front of the mic, being in a public setting, and then now you go out and get arrested. I mean, you're saying he's an alcoholic. I'm not trying to put the man's. Issues that they're on blast. According, according, did, according to did. our coworker, Ed, dude's just got a lot of good he, Man, there's something wrong with him. Like, in his head, there's just something wrong with him. I want, I want to go. <laughs> I, want the, to, the, I want to say what Ed said yesterday, but I don't think that's probably the most. Please don't. There's, there's <laughs> three. Well, it, or it only happened twice. Once when his after the first national championship game, Good Morning America interview, right? But understandable. I think everybody can kind of say, listen, that was his. I mean, he was still celebrating, and then he was forced to be on air. And so, what was he? Right. Well, it was just a tough spot. Um, this time, I mean, he obviously. I mean, I think he just forgot where his Airbnb was or something, and he was just trying to find it. He's Based lucky. On, he's lucky he didn't get. I mean, you knocking on people's doors, it, it could have been a lot worse for him. Yeah, he's not a dual threat quarterback, though. I mean, my gosh, he got pinned straight up on that wall. Oh, was there a video? Oh, I, I haven't seen, seen that. that. I haven't seen the video. Uh-huh. Dude, I I was, like, my, it? was it police body cam? Yeah, it was on the, the dashboard. Well, he was intoxicated, so. I'll tell you what he was did. Was it worse than the Baker Mayfield video? Yeah. Dude, and he though got, needed his O-line. he got rocked up against like a little. That, well, he got, Stan got rocked up against the wall. They were like trying to get him to like to stop walking or whatever, and he tried to take off running. No, he didn't. Yeah, I'll see if I can find it. I'll, I'll send it. Yeah. So were those, those police officers, were they like D1? I mean, they could have been. They let Brian Bosworth. <laughs> he, he got he got rocked, and then he comes out of there out of the jail with his with his hood on, and in the front seat of that Tahoe, looking like a high school. Yeah, I saw yeah. that. That was bad, but I hope the best for Stat man. I hope he gets drafted. I hope. So where's oh, your over under? I think he gets drafted. Uh, I'll I'll take the over. I guess. So you're saying fourth round or better, essentially? No, fifth round number one fifty five is what Vegas said the odds. But what wonder what pick is fifth round? Is that the first? What what pick is one fifty five in the fifth round? I don't know. You what just call it, you call it. I say fifth over. round one fifty four. Well, one fifty four could be in the fourth round. Doesn't matter. Okay, pick number one fifty five then, if that helps you. Yeah. Well, not really. I'll take the over. I'll, okay. I'll take the over. Okay. But I, I think he gets drafted. It's not. It's not. But there, I'm, I'll I'm take asking. Over. Around. I'll take I don't over. think he gets drafted over. in the fourth over. round. Over. Okay. okay. But it could have been fifth round one fifty four pick. Yeah. So one fifty five is like just. Okay, I'll take the over. Yeah, over. And you say not drafted, so over as well. Okay. Oh, but I, think, I, but I, I think, say the over and drafted. I think he could. I think he could have got drafted if this if this didn't happen. Even if he skipped the Senior Bowl, I think that he could have maybe been a sixth round, seventh round pick. Now I think he goes undrafted free agent. I thought because undrafted ha- free agent who, from you because who? who so you so both of you think not drafted at all. So the number the so. number of the round don't matter. You just think he's not drafted. I'm just telling you the Vegas set the odds. I'm right? asking you, do you think he gets drafted? I yes said or no. no. I already said no. Okay. Say it loud. He didn't hear you. No. Well, then I think he does. I think he gets drafted. I think he gets drafted. Don't be an uh, idiot. Don't be an idiot. What's your response? Dude can't have a regular conversation about Vegas odds. I don't care about Vegas odds. I ask the, the round for you shouldn't matter. Does he get drafted? You say no. I say yes. That I'll say I'll say yes. Between 155 and the end of the draft is my friend. So I think yeah. Height still gassed up for that confrontation last night. Yeah, he lost it that, that day. I found him in his body. He that's the first thing he talked about when he came in this morning. After he stuttered him some words when he came in, he couldn't get his words out. I'm still sleeping when I got here. And 
All right, let's talk. We need to move on off the step. I couldn't even argue with that dad after all them gold medals my kids had, John Lane. <laughs> and my kids, my boy. Money well spent. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, well, hold on. My boy. His boys. My boy. My, my oldest son, Brooks, just slam folded a boy with a cradle yesterday. And I love Raider him. cradle? Yes, sir. Do it, Brooks. Hopefully yeah. that wasn't the pinnacle of that kid from Jeff Davis or whatever it was. No, there's way more wins in my boy's future. Yeah. Probably a lot more losses in that boy's future from Jeff Davis. I just set that precedent early. Set the tone for him the rest of his life. His daddy. Go All ahead. Right. Go ahead. He's probably not a listener. No. Go ahead. He could be. He's definitely not. All right, guys. Whatever you're doing, stop right now. Uh, go on YouTube. If you're listening on uh, Spotify or, or Apple Music, go on YouTube. Like, subscribe. We're able to track you guys on there. Thank you for the support already. But do that. Please hit the like button and give us a subscribe on YouTube. We've got some videos coming out. Eventually. Hey, share wouldn't hurt. Share wouldn't hurt either. Um, so maybe even a subscription. Maybe even a subscription. Let's take a minute real quick uh, for our sponsors. We've got Premier Properties of Dublin. They handle commercial and residential real estate as well as property management. And you can always give them a call at 478-274-1606. Uh, those people are great to work with. I know for a fact, Height and myself know from experience, you know, if you're trying to buy, sell, whatever you're trying to do, make sure you call Premier Properties, they're great, friendly people. Also, Brian Subs. Let's hear what Brad's got to say. This is Brad Meeks, owner of Brian's Giant Subs. Thanks for listening to the Big Ugly Sports Podcast. Come see us today to grab your favorite sub. 1632 Veterans Boulevard in the Oaks Shopping Center, Dublin, Georgia. Shout out Brian Subs. I went there over the weekend. Got that whole grilled chicken. It was on point. So, I think it's time. I don't know which one of you wants to do the honors of drawing here. We're drawing for a free six inch sub courtesy of brian subs these the people that qualify were the people that right. like right the ball shared head. subscribed commented on facebook we've got this sweet the dirt. That's sweet the bowl, the bowl that we're going to draw from that's nasty high tide it's drawing the winner i was just decoration i don't know i thought it was just decoration i mean i thought we were setting the game up <laughs> it does look pretty <laughs> i think there's mustard on the side of this bowl right <laughs> so there's no telling what's in it either <laughs> little coffee stains adam wood Adam, Adam Wood, Wood. Lo- a Adam. loyal listener. Loyal listener. Adam so, Wood. Coach Adam Wood. Shout out to Adam. You get a free half, s- half inch. A half inch. No, he gets the whole. He gets the whole six inches. So, gets a free half sub courtesy of Brian Subs. Go by, tell him your name, and you will get a sub. Adam Wood, the winner. So, all right. Um, it is time. We've got a new, new segment that we're introducing into the show that we will eventually have a jingle with we just don't have right now and it's Roger's rant Roger's rant so in, in Roger's rant we can't say a word well we got to let him go all the way through that means you sit over there and you got to shut up I mean, <laughs> that's what that means. listen this is brand new we Chuck and I don't know no clue what we're going to talk about so I'm honestly just super excited can you just go ahead and mute his mic though? Because he's going to start. <laughs> I do need to mute. He's going to start I'll, chomping I'll, that gator here in just a second. So. I'll mute mine also. Man, that is the dumbest thing that I've ever heard. Do we? So go ahead, shut up. We're going to just one question. Just no, no, you're going to shut up. Me. Just one time. Do we get rebuttals after? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah we're definitely talking. Of course. About it. <clears throat> but but while, he, while I'm going, you're going to sit there and you're going to shut up. You're going to be ugly. Sit <laughs> tell me when. Tell me when to mute it. Go now. You can mute okay. the rest. He's of the muted. Time. My boy has done his whatever he's talking about. He's done his homework because the with the with the covalent bond. On the back Show of the Cabela Vaughn notes. Shout out yeah. K. Wood. <laughs> <laughs> hey. All right, so we've got yeah. Roger's rant. Everybody dial in. Mute your mic. Now. I am. I'm, I'm, I'm not muted. I'm Who's muted? Is he muted? No, I'm saying I'm muted. I'm tired enough. You, you can't talk if you're muted. Be quiet. Right, this go. is not about you. I know you have a hard time making things about you. Just sit over there and be quiet. Go. That's all you got to do. All right. I'm preferring preference in this. <laughs> <laughs> by saying... This is off a what if scenario, right? So I understand everything that comes with the what if scenario, but so it is a what if this does not happen. It's if it happens. If Mike Norvell wins the national title this year, what he's done at Florida State is better <laughs> is better than what Kirby's done at Georgia. All right, hear me out, and I know what simpleton minds are going to say. Now, my East Lawrence Elementary ed- education said that two. Is greater than one. Hey, yeah, you are you are correct, Doctor Reverend Hightower. However, let's look at the gold mine that Kirby Smart has walked into. 
the previous I went back in the previous four years before Norvell got hired and when uh, Kirby Smart got hired. Kirby Smart took over a team that was 40 and 13 before he got there. Mike Norvell took over a team that was 28 and 23. Mike Norvell was the third head coach in three years for Florida State. Kirby was the second head coach, and Mark Rick got hired, I think, what, 2000, 1999? So he's, yeah, he's been there for a while. Okay, there's no debate on that. Advantages for Kirby, right? There's no in state recruiting. And what I mean by that are no uh, competition in state. Too, now, right? <laughs> I'm going, I'm going. <laughs> hey, you need to mute your mic. I'm talking. They are hand hand I'm going so they are. So. <laughs> I went back and looked, and I looked at the last six classes, which I think is fair. That's a, it's a solid sample size. Forty percent of the top ten players in the state of Georgia went to the University of Georgia. So that means that the majority of you know your players, that your top tier guys, are going to the University of Georgia. In comparison, Florida, Florida State, and Miami, three schools that they're going against, twenty three percent of the players. For, the top 10 players are going to one of those three schools. So, which means that they're, Florida State has having to compete against Florida and Miami and everybody else coming into their back door or backyard <laughs> <laughs> to come get them, uh, to come get recruits out of the state of Florida. While Georgia, 40% of their players are going to the University of Georgia. All right. So, the recruiting is a lot easier for Kirby to be able to, to win. Ooh, all right. They had a state. I mean, I, the rant, I, I'm, this the is my rant. Getting long. This is my area. Yeah, but it's so long. You, I don't care. And you need to end it with one comment, like the final rant that you started with, but with some aggression towards him. Okay. That's right. Let it's, me. This is you're my taking section. too long. I'm okay with that. This is what we do. People right? are tired of listening. I don't really care what people are talking. They, they can tune out there. There's no in-state competition. <laughs> he was there pre-COVID. Uh, he worked under. Uh, they went pre-COVID. Because Mike Norvell got hired during COVID. I just, so right, we're makes, muted. Finish. That's makes a big deal. Uh, he worked under Bobby Bowden and Nick Saban. He's an alumni. He's already recruited the Southeast, and his name carries a lot more weight. In comparison to Mike Norvell, he's a group of five coach. He's not from the area, not the same pedigree. I've already talked about the, uh, the coach. Uh, finances were an absolute mess at Florida State. The joke, they went through two athletic directors. There's no football-only facilities. Their, their facilities they do have are completely outdated, and he's had to use the transfer portal, which nobody else has had to do, and he's – done that to a better than anybody else has. So if Mike Norvell wins a national championship this year, okay, and the big if I understand that, he is taking Kirby Smart's crown. I don't – here we go. That's too much. Y'all are much. wanting us to go. You yeah, I'm to go bridge, but you can't play the guitar on all I, that. I really honestly couldn't even understand that last – it was like, <laughs> <laughs> All right, Hi, what's your rebuttal on that? That is a stupidest thing ever. No, I, I like the segment. I love your energy. Let's put it we, in the future. We need a time limit, and and I think because that'll help. I need to bring the shot clock in here. Yes, we speed that up. And oh, then, maybe a minute and a half. And then it makes you crunch it in, and I think that's more entertaining. Okay. It was hey, this was the first time he did one at one point. Say, I thought, correct me if I'm wrong. Hey, Cam Bodie, did you hear him say that forty percent was the majority? Because where I heard him say that forty percent was meant more, the majority of people were going to UGA. So it, when it, and it comes to recruiting, if you're getting forty, if, if no, is it my turn or not? I'm, I'm yeah, to you got to like, you, you got to even check. Okay. Yeah, all right, so all your points fair. It's it's impressive. I'm already impressed by what what he's done at FSU because yes, the campus is trash. The facilities are trash, like you said. You admitted that they were bad. City, everything's bad. It's a dumpster down there, and so it is impressive to to do what he's done. I would say that the transfer portal. It's not impressive that he's made them better through the portal. I think that that's made it easier for him to make them better. You As get, opposed to if we don't have the portal. Yeah, you don't portal. You just where Kirby get, didn't have. Right. You just got to get – you got to get guys that's a fair, freshman. That's a fair argument. But the portal is, is, a, is a resource that helps programs take strides quicker than they historically would have been able to. But, yeah, I like what, what he's done down there. And – um, but how, but how really, you, none of this matters because they're not going to win it. How do you, but how do you say that it makes it easier? Well, most people that are in the portal, it's a it, there's a negative connotation that comes with being in the portal. Not anymore. No, I don't. I don't agree with that at all. Okay. I mean, there's, there's according a, to you, the, but most people during the portal, they're in the portal for a reason. When when Jermaine Burton yeah. left to go to Alabama, 
Well, he, he didn't want to be a dog. He didn't want to be a dog. He didn't want to work. That's that's a no, negative connotation no. with a guy that just left. Uh, Maybe a negative connotation from the team they're leaving from because that team is better. You have to, if, now, listen, if you want to say that the people on the message boards represent the entire fan base, then that's on you for giving those people way too much. But they give him way too much. I yeah. mean, he's one of those yeah. that – he is that lives and dies on the message board. And what I love about his <laughs> what I love about his rant too is that in typical Raji fashion, it's an if world that he lives yes. in. I, 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 mean, I said that you did prefer I, you did prefer it by saying prefer. that. I did say that. But yeah, that, I mean, a lot of good points there. Mo, the, the the two things that I really latched on to was that you admitted that the facilities were not good at FSU. So recruits, they were outdated. Recruits, if you're listening, FSU outdated UGA. Top the line. But uh, it got way more money. Yeah, and a more reason to go to UGA. But um, anyway, yeah, it's not gonna matter. It's not gonna happen. So enjoy it's the rant, the right? Yeah, and like we've it. got we've got a rap slash jingle that will be in the works to to kind of play us into this. That's good. Play us into this rant. Rogers, he's he's you know he's he's known for writing good music. So yeah, he's, he's still on sign. And now I enjoyed the rant. I'm curious to know what the. The listeners and viewers think about the rant that we, we really and it's not all. It might not even be sports going forward. That was just yeah. It could be anything. It could be anything. He's passionate about a lot of things. That's one thing about my boy. Yeah, they call him passion. So, all right. And as, far as, the, as far as the as far as the listeners, they don't have to listen. I don't really care. We're going to do this regardless. That's true. We but we want them to listen. But we are going to do it regardless, irregardless, or regardless, both. Okay, let's go. We're going to start with you, Hype. Okay. We're going to list out our – this is non-sports related. I want to know your top five TV series of all times. Now, I said series, but it could just be – I mean, I guess do you count like regular sitcoms as series? Or series, they, series, series. Series. Yeah. Right, yeah so, it's just I, really any TV show that you've ever I liked. Kinda, I think I kind of cheated on one. I went mini series. That's fair. So, I want you in order from five up. That's where I got it right. Okay, let's hear it. Number five. Number five, Seinfeld. I know there's some people that are not. Being I've famous. never watched it. Hilarious. Never been able to get into it. It, it stands. But I know a lot time. of people that do like it. Game of Thrones is four. Solid. Breaking Bad three. Here's where I cheated. A little mini series. Band of Brothers. Is it number two? I need to watch it. And I've never Band watched is, it. It's so good. Okay. If if you love America and just can I can I guess your number one or no? Sure. Five Night Lights. No. He ain't finished with it. Okay. Well, it didn't matter. And, and now I did. They got in my head last night. You know, I was thinking, man, I, I'm really on the show right now. It's really good. Is number one, is it a more current? Is it more? It's a little older. Um, it's a wonderful life. Andy Griffith. It's, it's not a series. <laughs> Andy Griffith. Now, Andy Griffith is a phenomenal song. series. And it's wholesome family family. I watch it with my kids, you know. But The Wire. The Wire is my Never seen one. it. You've never seen it? You've got three in there. I've never seen that. I guess I need to go check out. You need to give it a shot. Yes, you usually absolutely. got pretty good. Absolutely. We've got four on there that I've never seen. All right. That's, that's me. I right. would like to hear from the fans after all this is over. Like, fans could, you know. Well, my cousin loose. texted me after we did the football ones last week. Told me I had, by far had the worst one. So, <laughs> we're hearing from him. He, he, he's going to let me know. Now that I'm back on social media, okay, I'll get on. I'll Welcome make, back. Thank you. Hey, Thank feels, you. It feels good. I know that the fans missed us on social media because there's almost nothing been done. But. You had a lot on your plate. And our advertisers on the main social media that I was responsible for got their stuff. So right, that's, that's, that's the box we got to check. Yeah. Thank you, but I'm glad you're back. <laughs> Raj, go. Top five. Number five. Uh, not prepared. It's well, it's not, I, I don't, I've only seen about like maybe like three shows. What did he say in the pre-show when we were talking about yeah, this? Yeah, it's, it's, the, it's, it's the top shows that I've seen. Like he had the – well, we know that's kind of just a, a, a idea. Yeah, a but, given. but I, but Dude, the whole I thing think is, everybody knows it's, somebody, it's but, my top five. There, but and there I'm, might I'm be the a only one I've seen. There already might be a consensus, though, of like, this is your top there five. There is five. no consensus. What it boils down to is he spent so much time on his rant, he paid no attention to what we asked. No, that's not true. Hey, but the ones I've seen. Right shut chicken scratch down there. <laughs> I have it better here. Oh, name out your top few shows. That's not hard to do. Name out your top few shows Breaking Bad's up there, Narcos, and Madden's. Mad or zone 2.0, maybe yeah, put right. that in there. There's two, we need three more. Um, I did used to watch uh, did you ever watch Big Brother on CBS? No, I know you're gonna have South Park in there, yeah. South Park's number one, number one for him for easily. Sure. Um, I don't know if you ever watched the Boondocks, mm -hmm. probably not. Yeah, yep. can't, 
Cambodia loves it, brother. You see, Boondocks. Yeah, Boondocks is hilarious. Uncle Ruckus and uh, Thank Me, that's hilarious. And then Family Guy. I said, there's, there's your five there, I think. I didn't. I wasn't thinking. Uh, yeah, South Park's definitely one. Now, to clarify, those are ones you've seen. <laughs> that only I have seen. Okay. Now, this, I can't speak for everybody else. Now, this is different than when, when, when we were doing the Christmas movie thing that you had not seen, but maybe three of the 16 that I, and then complained about some of the ones he'd not seen being ranked <laughs> higher than the few that he had seen. He yeah, knew how good they were. Yeah, but there was he a, there there no was a consensus that. that Bad Santa was better than A Wonderful Life or whatever that garbage Not was. a consensus at all. My, uh, Mike Thompson, one of our sponsors. Yeah, I mean, I don't understand. Well, why didn't you put that on there? I wasn't even, I wasn't even born that movie was made. <laughs> all right, so my like five. Um, I've got in, in my fifth. Man, my fifth, I've got King of Queens. An all-time favorite for me. Could sit there and watch it all the time, and I kind of got tied with it uh, because it's not really. I don't know if you'd count it as a series, but last the last chance use in general, mm. I kind of put them down there, but I wasn't sure if they counted. So that's my that's my fifth places. Fourth, Peaky Blinders. Good one. Um, <laughs> you know, thanks to Buck for turning me on to that. I what I tried to give it a chance a while back, didn't really like it, but then once you watch it, I was like, okay, I'm, I'm hooked on this. It was good. Third one was The Sopranos. Never watched it growing up, you know. Well, but, that's good. Yeah, or, or I'm it's saying not, it's not really a child. No, I meant I meant like <laughs> even in my twenties, like it oh, was. Okay. It was up until like two years ago that I watched it. And then second, kind of like Roger said, I'm a huge fan of the Narcos shows on Netflix, all of them. It's, I don't know, just the Pablo Escobar whole. It was awesome. Yeah, and then my number one, Ozark. Ozark. Ozark's a great show. Is that the one with Jason Bateman? Yes, and he's just he's. He's good in himself, but it's. Uh, can we throw Can we throw King of the Hill in there as well? Mad Men was close to for me. It was a good one. Is that John Draper? What kind of What was it about? That might have been what Shelby was talking about. Also, uh, he worked at an advertising firm. Yeah, that's it. I tell yeah. you what. I tell you what. I can remember from watching that show with Shelby is there's no way back then anybody got anything done because them drugs were drinking and smoking in every scene in that office building. Yeah. Did y'all I mean, watch was, Walking Dead at all? Yeah, that yeah. was a good. That was another one. That was now the. It was like the first four s- seasons for me were good. What you got, Green Agent uh, Cam? <laughs> intriguing that the con- really the consensus number one series of all time might be The Office from everybody in the else in the world. Uh, where, where does that rank? That's fair. The series? Office was up there for me. Parks and Rec was close. Never, never seen either of them. Uh, I'm just wondering because uh, a lot of people like Office. Are you an Office fan? I mean. Up until about six months ago, I was not. Uh, my wife kind of made me, forced me to watch it. And, and so now you're thankful, now, you know, yeah. yeah. Same here. Um, now, Sopranos, Sopranos almost, I almost flunked out of college because of Sopranos. So when I moved to college, went to. Did you try to take on that lifestyle? Or? No, well, no. Um, you thought he was a mob boss. No, I didn't. Yeah, me and one of my roommates, Keegan Malone, would stay up till 2 or 3 a.m. We, we had. On demand, or I don't know how we were watching, whatever my dad was paying part of the bills for HBO or something. I don't appreciate know. that, Uncle G. And uh, we would stay up, and we would we would take turns ordering bulldog bulldog pizza. It was right down the street from the house on Lexington. Anyway, and we and I almost flunked out of school because I was just watching. That sounds like some really good times. It was. How do you think he would be as a Italian mob boss? I'm dying <clears throat> early in that season. I'm sure smart mouth gets you smoked early. Yeah, that mouse will get him in trouble. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna insult the wrong guy, a made man or something, and now you got my money. Man. Yeah, and that next thing I know, I'm sleeping with the fishes. <laughs> That'd be best for everybody. <laughs> that was, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. I got things. <laughs> but you're raising them up right. They're gonna be state champion wrestlers. Not if I'm whacked early, like they're six, five, three, one. We Don't got any more? Do we got any more uh, segments? You got Georgia. Yeah. You got Georgia to take care of them. We've got one more segment. Close it down right here. A fan favorite, if you will. Okay. Dead. Dead for Ed. For Ed. And the way we're doing it this week is the two guys, and I, I'm about to give some names. They don't know who they are. Height and Rod, you do not know who. And let's clarify so you don't get your underwear all messed up. Ed has confirmed he is completely okay with us doing this. I wish he would, and that would make it better for me <laughs> if he was anti this. So we hope and pray that nothing ever happens to Ed. But for the sake of comedy, Ed is okay with us. I think the, the closest thing Ed's got to worry about is him when he's trying to do bench press at Planet Fitness, drop 135 pounds on his neck. 
with his wrist tape. So you weren't here the first time we did that, Fred. Oh. That was a, that was the day that you were out. So yeah. what we're gonna do, audience, is out. we're basically skipped out because Georgia won a natty. That's that's exactly right. So I'm gonna give that's them a name. People, that's what people are saying. I'm, <laughs> I don't care what people are saying. Okay, he's not a man of the people. I'm so, not. So I'm, not I'm gonna give them a name. They're gonna d- decide whether they would want to bring that person back to life and trade Ed out. And Ed's okay with it. So, but you aren't here to give your description of Ed. So, if you will, just for the people that don't know, well, he's, Steve, he gave it. He gave it one time. But I need, I need you to okay. yeah. tell this. If you could describe Ed to somebody, just give us some uh, adjectives. He's had uh, that personality that you just don't want to be around. I mean, uh, he's got. <laughs> That's what we were leading with. Yeah, yeah. I mean, again, he's kind of got that. He's got that bowl cut. Uh, it's one of those. I mean, it could be any kind of cereal. You know, if you want to, I'm out. Cinnamon Toast Crunch is probably usually my go-to. Uh, Reese's Reese Puff, Puffs. Puffhead. I've heard uh, folks call him a toadstool, like from Mario Brothers. Toadstool. That's that's fair. Um, I mean, he's got a below-average personality at best. He's uh, extremely negative, which I mean, I sometimes I do enjoy it though because it's fun. Um, he still thinks that Trump's a president. <laughs> um, he thinks that bro, uh, bro, he's coming back any day. <laughs> it's possible. Um, he thinks that uh, that uh, Stant is a Satanist. Um, so if you could describe, say, because he had a cup of coffee, as I like to say, at UGA yeah. as a backup quarterback. Yeah. <laughs> if you came to on Athens and you just saw him in between classes. Who, Ed? Yeah, what was he wearing? Like, it was um, his college days so walking back, through campus. So this was, I don't know, when was Ed at Georgia? It was 2002, 2003. So I'm trying to think it was in style. 03. It was 03. Okay, so he's probably going, he's probably going long cargo shorts. Uh, with the flip flops on, shell necklace for sure. Seashell necklace. Uh, he's probably got a little spike in sync, a little spikes in there. Are, are they dyed too? They're dyed. He's yeah. got tips. Dyed tips. Yeah, and he's just walking around campus. I can say, "I'm Stephen." Like quarterback. <laughs> he's got his his a uh, his a uh, walk man. Yeah. Yeah. What's up, what's bro, up David Green knows me, bro. Yeah, dude. We're we're like we are tight, bro. Like, we're in the same quarterback room. Yeah. I mean, All right. So right. that's the guy. That's the, that's the guy, that's guy that's that we're trying to figure out if. And to swap. clarify, we don't want anything like really serious bad to happen to Ed, but we're okay with minor bad things minor happening. Injuries. Like if you trip in the hallway, falls out of a chair, pulls a Which hand. Which could happen. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. We need to. Well, I guess we need to say it for another day. The the battle that me and Ed have going on when he's always trying to like put put hand sanitizer on my back or something like that. All right. That's. Yeah, you're that's right. How, I'm, you're I'm right. talking here. How you do that? You will not do that. Now, now let, let me <laughs> something I want to talk about. Man, let's talk about. Let's talk, beats, talk, we can talk about Georgia Bulldogs, and we can talk about wrestling. We can talk about me going out there to Jays and, and me and Georgia shooting doves. We can sit out there for three, four hours talking about that. But now, something I don't want to talk about. Y'all shut up. Dude, we just end the segment. Hey, yeah. right, let's, keep, let's keep going. We're trying to do that for Ed, man. He, and he said, "I was going along with you. I was really trying to agree with you." I know you're not used to that. All right, here we go. Dead for Ed. All right, we'll start That's with you. Height. That, that was, was on me. That was on me. Okay. All right, we'll start with you. Okay. <laughs> Freddie Mercury. Wow. I got to have Fred back. I mean, why? Tell us why. I mean, have you listened to his music? Dude can sing. And I, and I enjoy their music. So, no question. Oh, no. No, no question. So, Ed, 0 for 1. See you. Books there. Adios. Adios, Ed. Um, I'll, I'll keep Ed just because there's plenty of other great music to listen to. Um, and – one of my favorite parts of the day is coming down to the gym fourth period during my planning period and just to mess with Edwards. Uh, I can listen to music from anybody else, but there's only one person that aggravate Ed. So the, for the first time in the dead for Ed, say Ed has a lead. Yes. Okay. Well, it's actually a wash. He's one another. I'm talking about personally. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right, quit trying to make it. Yeah. Just stop, man. Just shut up. <laughs> <laughs> so I would say if you would have asked me a few years ago, I would have said Ed for sure. Because one, I had just barely met Ed, didn't know enough about him. And you felt bad him. for him. And two, I was not a big Queen fan, but my wife kind of turned me on that music, so I, I, I'm, I'm probably bringing Freddie back on this one. Sorry, Ed. Yeah. Okay. This one I feel like it's a no-brainer, but I, I did it anyways. Hammer and Hank Aaron. Let's go with you, Raj. Hank Aaron. Yeah, he's got to come back. Probably the greatest Brave to ever put the jersey on. Yeah. All-time home run leader. Is it prime, Hank? It doesn't matter. He, up, he can be 85-year-old Hank. Yeah. Or however it was. I mean, I take him still back. doing good things. In. Still doing more than Ed. Yeah, yeah. I'll take him back, either young or old. But I'd love for him to be young again because I'd love to watch him play for the yeah. Bravos. I'm with y'all. Bring Do you Hank feel back. like if Hank Aaron is back playing the Braves, they're definitely World Series year in year out? If he's playing on this year, like 
No, we're right. Yeah, yeah we, we need a left fielder. That's right. So, oh, yeah. I mean, no, we got right. And, Ed, and Ed, Ed can't help us there. Ed, and I will say, Ed has his, his fanhood of Atlanta Braves. Ever since that day you got wedged in that chair, it, he's just really been a huge Braves fan. So that's that's all it took. He just needed Roger to get stuck in a chair at the game. Yes. Okay. They they are made for smaller people to Roger. I can relate. In your defense. In your defense. So mm-hmm. Hank Hank comes back. It's unanimous. All right. All right. A uh, a people favorite, if you will, mm-hmm. Betty White. Gosh. I it's, it pains me to say this, but I'll take Ed over Betty. And I do like Betty, but she just, I mean, she, she had, she's had some moments. She, I think she was, you know, she was okay, but Ed, I don't know. I'll, I'll just take Ed on that one. Ed over the iconic Betty White. Okay. So one, to t- Ed still dies overall in your, oh, yeah. your two to one. Yeah. Okay. This is big, Raj, because you're split right now. Hmm. I wasn't like a huge Betty White fan. Yeah, I, didn't, I mean, I think she's only like really – her biggest thing is with Golden Girls, maybe. So, I'll take Ed there. Uh, I mean, slightly. But I'd like to see Ed survive another week. Well, oh, we're going to do another one, Ed? We're going to do another show on Ed regardless. I did not see that coming at all. Well, I think there, it's just – like, just based on that list right there. Okay, yeah, I mean, I get it. I respect it. I just – that surprised me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to keep Ed over Betty also. And I, we're probably going to catch some flat for this. There's probably people. You know, there's those people that just love Betty. And she was – it felt like she lived for 200 years. Uh, a constant once on TV meet, shows. Once they meet Ed, they'll understand, you know. No, if they meet Ed, they'll be like, why did y'all – why would you yeah, keep Ed over anybody? So, Ed lives for you. And, you know, the, the celebs, me and Hyde are bringing back two to one. So, but – Love you, Ed. Glad that you're still alive, bud. Hopefully. And talk to him today, but maybe he'll <laughs> he'll he'll send us something that somebody put on Twitter. Real quick, can we can we just mention LeBron James being a crybaby? Yeah, real quick, short time. I don't know if you guys saw that or not. I saw it. All right, yeah. first off, first off, I don't know if y'all saw the video. It was a walk before he even got fouled. Secondly, you're six eight, two sixty. I don't care if 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 they're pulling your arm down, make make the layup. You know like, what? Go up there. Don't the basketball put your armpit on that dude's head, and then like, just the flailing and stuff after. I can't, and he's I can't just do it. Falling man. all over, I running. I cannot do it. You know, Michael Jordan would have done. I saw this. He, I don't. I didn't see I, it. This is just straight out of his big old head of mine. Let's see if it's. He would have changed hands when. That's upside. exactly what it said. Yeah, they said the goat conversation is over. He would have changed yeah. hands. You definitely saw that. One hundred percent did not see. Yeah, I ain't trying to claim that. that. What do you think, Rod? Never saw it. I don't care what y'all say. Never saw it. I mean, Sorry. word for word, what somebody says. Yes. If if you've watched basketball at all, and you know what Michael Jordan is, one of his most you, famous, I, you know I, he would have switched things. One of his I, most famous. I'd be like, now. I'd, I'd be like, now I didn't see it, but I'm going to say word for word what I saw, but I didn't see it. Anybody could have came up with that, and I 100 percent mean this. I did not see that. That's just me being a, a sports the guy. Stare at the camera. I never saw it, and I don't care what any of these chuckleheads in this room say. It's a family friendly show, bro. Chucklehead, there's nothing wrong with that. Chuckles. So I, I, I yeah, I, I, it's just hard for me to watch him. Which the NBA in general, it's just hard to watch because it's just so much. Every like, I love the Hawks. Trey Young's heart gotten hard to watch because they just that's whine why we should have about kept everything. We should get Luke. Luke will whine too. They'll all whine. I mean, they'll all whine and complain. If the refs would just start throwing texts around like, like they do in high school, then they they'd stop all that. Yeah, but even high I school, I mean, our our kids whine. But they're it's a lot quicker they, to get a tech for stuff they do, but it's a joke. Anyhow. Oh, yeah. I can always keep forgetting. Uh, just make sure you continue to listen to us uh, on Spotify, on the Apple Podcast app. Give us that uh, five star review and a subscription. Check us out on social media Facebook, uh, Instagram, Twitter. Anywhere else you can find us at Big Ugly Sports. Hey, like, subscribe, follow on YouTube. Uh, give us some love on there. Be sure to share. We're going to do the Brian's drawing again for this week. We're giving away another sub. Make sure to like, comment, and share on that. Um, be looking for some merch. I promise you it's coming. We're close. We're close. So maybe this week we might have some merch available. Be looking out for that. Wherever you're at, whatever you're doing, get on that book. Even a subscription. We are work in progress, always room for improvement. Get up on that bus. It's a movement.